Hey, TRT and Hormone Optimization Group. This is Justin again, and I'm here to talk about today when should you get your thyroid hormones tested. In a previous video, I've talked about the essential tests that I recommend people get if they're trying to work up a hypothyroidism and or a thyroid optimization uh, diagnostic panel. This time I'm talking about when you should get your thyroid levels checked if you're trying to evaluate hypothyroidism. So I do appreciate that more and more members are reaching out and showing interest in their thyroid hormone health. It's uh, quite humbling, it's refreshing to see that we're exploring new areas in terms of our optimization and being advocates for our own health. So let's get started. So first and foremost, the TSH to free thyroid hormone relationship uh, it works in a negative feedback loop. So TSH goes up, TSH goes up, it's trying to increase the communication to the thyroid, but then if it's going up, that means you're not putting out enough free thyroid hormone. It's a negative feedback loop. Now, if the free thyroid hormone levels are adequate, they're higher, then the TSH takes its foot off the gas and it goes down some. It's a negative feedback loop. Also, they work in a log linear relationship. What that means is that even small fluctuations, small excursions in the levels themselves can have a very sensitive and a very sensitive and uh, a rather good prominent impact on the other end of the, the thyroid, the negative thyroid loop. So small fluctuations can even indicate uh, possible hypothyroidism that's kind of flying under the radar, but hasn't really fully developed yet. That's why patients will a lot of times say, hey, I've got all the classic symptoms of hypothyroidism, got the fatigue, got the brain fog, uh, constipation, depression, temperatures, and sensitivities, pretibial edema, uh, lateral thinning of the brows, uh, things like that. They will complain of that. However, it's not fully emerged. Oftentimes, they'll mention these symptoms months and even you know up to a year, year and a half before there's actual clinical laboratory presentation of over overt hypothyroidism. So with that being said, when is a good time to get tested? Well, the thyroid stimulating hormone follows a diurnal, which means it goes up and down throughout the day. It's got a diurnal circadian rhythm and the TSH levels peak in the middle of the night. Most literature suggests that it peaks hmm, roughly 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. and then it tends to taper off throughout the rest of the day with its lowest point being mid to late afternoon roughly 4 p.m., 8 p.m. for most folks. So with that being said, we want to check your levels in the morning because we want to see it when it's at its highest. Why, you ask? Well, because even your highest levels may still need to be treated. Highest levels may still be too low for you. If we were to actually check everyone in the afternoon, we'd roughly miss uh, about 30% of patients who otherwise would have been clinically diagnosed with hypothyroidism. Also, the literature shows that TSHs that are higher in the morning, higher TSHs in the morning, tend to have greater fluctuation, greater excursions throughout the day than do TSHs that are lower in the morning. Now, I just mentioned the thyroid testing should be done in the morning. This is in reference uh, to people that are not on thyroid hormone medicine, namely T4. If you're on T4 and it's adequately dialed in, well, you should be okay. You should be nice and dialed in smoothly because T4 has a half-life of roughly six to seven days. So if you're taking it every single day, first thing in the morning, empty belly, at least an hour before food or other meds, you should be fine. You should be dialed in smoothly. When I'm talking about when should you get your thyroid tested, I'm talking about into the patient that's getting worked up for hypothyroidism. All right, that's enough for today. Once again, I appreciate y'all's time for tuning in. Look forward to the next one. See ya.